subscribe to Sales Mala Studios and do not forget to click on the bell icon. Hello and welcome to another episode of Leisurely Baatein. My guest today is Mr. P. Raghuraman. He is an entrepreneur, best-selling author, sales specialist, and a speaker. Raghu, welcome to Leisurely Baatein. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Shubhadeep, for this wonderful opportunity. It's always great interacting with you. Hundred percent, and uh, you know, I would have much liked it uh, across the table over a cup of coffee. But uh, um, we're all living in very challenging times caused by COVID nineteen. So yeah. um, that's the best way we could, uh, you know, do as a do this uh, you know interaction. So how are you keeping yourself busy during these times? Uh, well, uh, first. Uh, the good thing is um being a training company you know i run a training firm sales training right. company uh, we are doing lot of webinars right so that's a good news because most of the sales people are locked up at their homes <laughs> and uh, many of my clients are ensuring that they're getting trained every day <laughs> right that's good that's good in fact the number of trainings have gone up significantly i'm sure most of the sales guys must be wondering i haven't gone through as many trainings as i've gone through in the last 45 days <laughs> you know in the last 4 5 years put together right you know right, right. that's one and second um, uh, since we also run a um, lms app you know learning management right. solution app for our uh, clients specifically focused on sales people right so this is giving us a lot of time to create a lot of new content Right, right, right. See, previously, you know, you will commute, you will do all kinds of meetings. You know, a lot of time goes right. away, three, four hours a day goes away without even you realizing it. Correct, correct. So now we are doing a lot of content creation, and third, most importantly, is I spend a lot of time uh, helping my better half on the domestic chores. <laughs> that's good. That's good. <laughs> I I don't think I have done so much of uh, cleaning and. Uh, you know washing that i have done in the last two months in the last two two decades put together <laughs> so, <laughs> so a lot of work normally if i try to help my wife uh, you know she always like you know says it's better that i don't help her because i create uh, you know more mess so mm. i hope it's not the same with you uh no <laughs> <laughs> so i i do i manage to leave without leaving any clues or fingerprints <laughs> Okay next time I meet you I'll I'll, I'll like to pick up a few trades on that. Uh Raghu share with us a bit about yourself and you know about the wonderful book which is doing so well um, you know about the book as well a little bit. Uh see uh, predominantly I'm a salesman at heart. Uh though I after my engineering I took a factory engineer's job. Right. But after about year plus I realized my heart is not in that. Correct. So I actually quite a very comfortable uh, job you know with they give you living quarters food everything you know in a nice factory i actually moved to hyderabad and started as a sales person you know right. salesman you have a monthly quarterly target and you know you're going up and down trying to sell uh, your company products and uh, while it was very tough it was a huge change for me but i really loved it you know because i i always feel um, you know that exhilaration it's it's like sales is like uh, you jump from a helicopter or a plane with a parachute and you're jumping and you don't know whether your parachute will open <laughs> <laughs> very well said so so the moment your parachute opens and you touch down safe you know you've hit your monthly numbers or quarterly <laughs> numbers <laughs> so So I I grew in sales career, uh, got promoted and uh, scaled up. But I always have this policy of getting out of comfort zone. One so day. after a few years in sales, I flipped to product management. Mm-hmm. So I got this wonderful opportunity. Uh, since I kept myself abreast with technologies and all that, I got this opportunity to be a product manager. Mm-hmm. Then I scaled up in that job to become a category head, etc. And then again that Kida. Mm. and uh, get out of comfort zone i got back into sales management then i grew up into sales management plus business management into senior roles right so it is a, uh, a great uh, thing right. so i have worked in hyderabad chennai bangalore delhi now i'm based out of gurgaon right and then subsequently um, uh, 
uh, you know uh, one thing led to another and then to my current stint as an entrepreneur and then now author <laughs> right 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 so well done well done and and uh, what's the book about so this book is about um, a sales person you know uh, typically focused uh, heavily slanting towards b2b but mm-hmm. a little bit of uh, thing for a b2c sales person also right uh, so it talks of uh, the traits uh, we are calling it as 10 dnas that you need sure. to have to right. be successful in your sales career right. and it is not necessary that sales means you are a jugadu and uh, you do lot of unethical stuff you can be a successful sales person doing all the right things correct correct so what are those right things and how do you ensure you are able to practice those right things correct correct so most of it came from uh, my experience and uh, me along with my co-author his inputs and that's how we created this whole dna of a champion sales person fantastic and i understand the book is doing very well i'm sure uh, a lot of people are getting a lot of useful um, uh, tips uh, learning um, about sales and reading the book so well done and congratulations again Good. thank you thank you ragu um, do you think you know with this current situation that we are in you know would the approach of enterprise enterprise sales change post covid 19 uh i think enterprise uh, sales approach has definitely changed mm-hmm. is changing and has changed forever when i say forever in our life is like next 3 to 5 years you know right. because we live in disruptive times right. things keep dramatically changing so it has changed in many ways and if there are three ways that i can uh, talk about number 1 customers are not going to meet up with you frequently mm. the way they used to meet up before right iske pehle kya hota tha as a sales guy you will call up your customer you will go there hang around have tea coffee meet lower level mid level then if right. possible higher level you know you have multiple meetings so now customers are no longer going to have like say 40 meetings before taking a decision all right right now customers are going to do their research take lot of inputs and then in minimal interactions they're going to take decision hmm. Hmm. so this means the sales person has to be there when customer is doing his research and inputs gathering hmm. the sales person has to be there contributing hmm. so the person who contributes the more will now get mind share rather than the person who is visible more getting the mind share the earlier way of working right so when right. i am working remotely and i'm struggling to gather information and you are there helping me with information you become valuable to me so you, the mind share your mind share your company's mind share increases in my uh, mind space and if i am a decision maker and an influencer correct i'm going to look at you favorably the second thing is video calls hmm. video calls are no longer avoidable i still see a lot of sales people are comfortable with audio calls right you know they don't want to show their face Right. but you have to be able to arrange video calls in fact it's a great opportunity just imagine i can arrange one video conference get everybody me my boss operation supply chain finance support everything from my side and customer can bring in all other functions from his side we can all have one meeting and take a decision which otherwise in the earlier stage would have taken months hmm. to get all people into one room right right you know right. so it's a it's a great thing and third most biggest challenge which a enterprise sales guy now must overcome is see before we used to get out of our home get into office get into restaurants get into meetings dealer offices a right. lot of hustle going on to generate pipeline right now you have to generate all your pipeline on email social media and all that so mm-hmm. the sales person has to become really more digital savvy correct correct so which leads to my next question like you know which probably some part you know you have answered is uh, what skills would a new age sales person need to acquire number 1 the new age sales person needs to be very savvy and effective on telephone he can no longer say hey i am this flamboyant outside sales rep and you talk to my isr you know <laughs> my inside sales rep or a tele sales is doing those uh, kind of you know follow through or uh, demand generation now uh, an outside sales rep is also an inside sales rep correct you know you are working from a remote location you are working from home 
सो यू हैव टू बी सैवी ऑन फोन एंड फोन इज नो लॉन्गर अबाउट जस्ट फिक्सिंग मीटिंग और सर मैं अपना अपने बंदे को बोल देता हूँ कि आपको ये मिल जाएगा नाउ यू आर दैट बंदा सो यू हैव टू बिकॉज कंपनीज आर ऑल्सो कटिंग कॉस्ट सो दे विल नॉट हैव एज मेनी रिसोर्स लाइक बिफोर सो नाउ यू विल यू विल हैव टू डू बी वेरी इफेक्टिव ऑन टेलीफोन यू हैव टू गेट डिजिटली सैवी विच मीन्स यू टू एनश्योर योर वाई फाई इज वर्किंग ग्रेट योर ब्रॉडबैंड इज अप ग्रेट यू नो हाउ टू यूज ऑल द टूल्स यू यू शुड नो हाउ टू यूज गूगल जूम you know you have to be slightly more technically savvy towards video conferencing correct and you should be savvy about things like screen sharing you know mm. presenting virtually mm. uh, i tell lot of sales guys don't send a proposal as it is mm. make a proposal call the customer on a video call mm. share your screen take the customer through the proposal mm. so you are also replacing a face to face meeting with this activity correct you know correct. and get to know all the digital tools available in the marketplace correct, correct. Well, very you know, well said and i think these are very uh, you know wonderful uh, you know things that you shared because a lot of times i have seen in my sales career um that uh, a lot of field sales representatives are little apprehensive in picking up the phone and making correct. a cold call you know they somewhere i feel i don't i don't know whether that they feel that you know um they feel that inside sales is little one level lower than outside sales i don't know if it's a matter of hierarchy that they got get caught so much in uh, but obviously i've seen a lot of people even senior people uncomfortable you know in picking up the phone and having a conversation they become very conscious so yes uh, i mean in uh, fact that, alvin toffler said it beautifully Uh, you know this is like one of my go to lines it's it's imprinted in my mind you know he said the illiterate of the 21st century is not somebody who cannot read or write it is somebody who refuses to learn unlearn and relearn sure sir you know so very apt in this time <laughs> absolutely absolutely i mean he said it so many years back but it is very apt uh, today correct correct now in all this you know um, that we spoke about uh, how how would um, let's say um, a sales person trying to you know speak to a customer for the first time build relationship you know in the past you know we all have like you know probably met done our first meeting over a cup of coffee uh, mm. then like you know moved into a lunch and it was a you know kind of a uh, i don't know whether i would use the word myth that you know more lunches and coffees means that you have a better relationship so in the absence of those you know um, opportunities how would a, a, a sales person create and build relationships remotely uh it's it's not going to be easy but you have to start so the first thing you can start is by being empathetic please remember just the way you are operating from home or in the, from a remote location so is your customer the chances of your customers also operating remotely are very high even manufacturing companies i just spoke to a, a cxo level person from one of the largest automobile companies in india so the, the senior managers enter the office go sit at their desks and do all their meetings virtually because it's a manufacturing job you still have to go to the factory so uh, this person is a decision maker so he goes to the factory but he is talking to his team and his colleagues and his superiors on whatever zoom webex whatever is their internal uh, conference tools is doing on that so that's a reality so even if your customer is going to office he is still operating virtually from his desk correct so first thing as a sales person i should tell myself is it is the same situation at both the places so first you need to be empathetic and talk about you know strike conversation in that way saying that sir this is how the best practices we have implemented in our company to work remotely what have you done mm-hmm. so what are the challenges you facing can i help you in any way mm-hmm. see at the end of the day there are two areas customers are going to build relationship with you your relationship is not because you carry your logo and card that is like a more like a, a messenger you know mm-hmm. your relationship comes from the value you add to customers all right so you can add value by helping customer solve his problems hmm. thereby helping the on their business continuity all right second is 
helping them with ideas and suggestions which would help them compete with their competitors better right 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 so which also means as a sales person i should be well prepared right. i don't have the luxury like before get into a face to face meeting meander through pleasantries for 15 minutes and then come to the point and if i make a mistake correct myself you know the face to face allows for a lot of inefficiencies correct correct now you don't have those luxuries any longer yes. so right. you have to be really prepared but the good news you can build relationships close deals faster now correct i wish correct. i wish people realize that this is actually an opportunity it is it is indeed and, and, and you know i can relate to a lot of things that you you mentioned because uh, for the last um, you know couple of months you know um, i though i was i'm based here i've been you know dealing with my customers um, in brisbane and sydney and uh, the conversations have been pretty much you know over the video call over the phone over whatsapp videos and i have realized that you know a lot of things that in your mind which you thought as um, important um are you know it can you can be like you know much more easier with your with your conversations and it is all about as you rightly said it's about value um Correct. what problem are you solving are you listening well to solve those problems and being very honest if you can't you know you don't waste time and that also i've seen times that you know have been appreciated you know I mean, if you don't have a solution rather Correct. say that i i don't have a solution to add value and uh, well this is not the space that i operate in um and which has to personally to me has led to the customer coming back and saying hey i've got this opportunity do you guys work in this space and you know can you help um it has opened up more leads that way uh, mm. and a lot of those things which you think as important for example wearing you know the best suit that you have and the you know expensive tie <laughs> have gone away you know i mean i've done it in like you know wearing a you know a t-shirt and a, you know and and, uh, and the customer is okay i mean it's about the the value of that conversation rather than the aesthetics around you absolutely and you know you cut to the chase now <laughs> <laughs> um rago what i wanted to ask you is you know when you do all this sometimes even in a video conference it is difficult to understand the body language correct how do you i mean in the past i mean uh, we as sales people used to rely a lot on our uh, on that judgment correct. you know what i what i am saying uh, in a presentation not only to the person or maybe you know the cxos or the decision makers you also look into the two ics of the decision makers to understand you know how they are reacting how they are receiving uh, how would one uh, you know take that into account in in a, in a remote selling um see it's very as you rightly said it's very difficult to judge body language in a video call especially if there are more than multiple people in that uh video conference because the screen becomes even smaller right on your <laughs> right. tablet or uh, laptop uh, right. and one on one at least you are able to see a bigger picture right. and if there are four people in the video conference it becomes uh, difficult see one of the things i would strongly recommend number one push for video hmm. rather than being in audio itself a lot of people i still see are not pushing for video enough mm-hmm. for various reasons uh, for that itself makes person conscious when camera is watching me i become a little more conscious i pay more attention to that meeting right in 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 an audio call uh, you don't know what i'm doing on the side correct you know i'm probably checking my whatsapp whatever all right second right. is ask uh, questions mm-hmm. you know uh, so what do you think Mm. does this make sense to you you cannot go into a monologue mm. for 5 minutes because in a room you can go into a monologue for 5 minutes because he's sitting in front of you correct here every 30 40 seconds you have to ask something and get a acknowledgement affirmation confirmation that's correct. very very important and third as a process especially important meetings i would actually strongly recommend uh, rather than sending minutes actually you know download the recording and share the link correct with all the people who attended the meeting right, right. this was the meeting we all attended here is the recording this is what was discussed this is what was agreed on this is the next step correct that itself will make people are yaar koi record kar raha hai right right <laughs> you know, and you, i'm very well really said. participate in that meeting <laughs> no very well said because a lot of times we i feel that you know we waste our you know our, our time and effort in scribing you know if 
it's a meeting you can always ask permission at the beginning of the meeting would it be okay if i record the meetings and distribute uh, you know that content um, mm. among you know and socialize that content among the attendees it saves a lot of time you know why would you listen type and you know that's another uh, and then you know sometimes in a bigger corporate uh, uh, idiosyncrasies you send it to you know a boss and then his boss to you know validate that before you send out to the customer mm. so you know as you rightly said we cut to the chase we have more time to discuss value um, and the cycle time of sales uh, also reduces which is a good thing you know you either ways you know whether you know the customer is going to be interested to move to the next phase of your sales uh, you know cycle or you know he would may say that well this is not the right time so you make more meaning out of the time that you spend with the customer true Hundred percent, Raghu. My last question: We are nearing up towards the end of the yeah. program. Is how has the role of data evolved in a sales role in recent times? Uh, see, data is very critical in the sense. A lot of times, you find uh, salespeople at the initial stage of career, and at much later stage of career, after fifteen twenty years work experience, in these both phases, they ignore data. because a lot of things is about uh, you know anecdotes and your experiences and you know aisa hi hota hai correct But what you must realize is that uh, data is critical to everything especially when it comes to sales you know uh, data is what validates your claim to the customer that hey my product or service performs better than somebody else right without data you cannot if you validate with data you appeal to the pragmatic side of the customer right and he or she will believe you correct and your chances of getting the sale is much higher correct. second data is what helps you conquer objections right see lot of times uh, in sales objection handling is a very tricky matter right. and customer says you are you are too expensive right that it doesn't mean you have to go drop your price right that's only one situation right actually customer could also mean can you give me more data to see how to justify this higher price correct correct you know so the first approach always in objection handling is to show data show value and say that hey and value in terms of data is the most effective whether it is in efficiency performance money save dollar save is the most critical thing you know right uh, so data plays a very very important part and third uh, within your organization also correct right. when you talk in terms of data to your back end teams operations to your management and give the exact picture people tend to respond to you far better than simply kahani sunana see kahani sunana will help you once or twice you know right. in emergencies or whatever but on a regular basis nothing beats data correct you know correct. data is, is is very critical you know we had a um i mean lot of ceos have said this uh, but there is one great ceo who took the share prices from 5 6 dollars to 50 60 dollars and then he said it very clearly you can come in the most dapper suits and a beautiful language and all that but if you are not achieved your numbers if your data shows <laughs> that you have failed you have missed all your metrics another guy can come haggard and you know he has he is not able to talk and present but all his data shows <laughs> everything is green I mean, we know uh, who's going to impress the audience, right? At the Correct. end of the day, it's all data. Correct. And somewhere people and my suggestion to salespeople is not get overawed by data. Keep adding data on a regular basis. Right. See, lot of times it becomes uh, artificial or it becomes very difficult to handle because you are trying to do things in last minute. But if you keep building data. then you are only refining data as you move forward correct correct good raghu thank you so much for you know it was such a passionate uh, conversation that we've, <laughs> we've had and we've been having having so um and i wish you all the very best for your future endeavors and the uh, you know, growth of your consulting organization and you stay safe and i hope to see you soon on the other side of covid 19 so oh, thank you so much shubhadeep and i wish you also all safe Uh, good health and uh, success of your sales wala very very uh, interesting uh, book uh, and i really wish that um, we get all this behind us and we meet face to face in the near future 
Absolutely. sooner rather than later. <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you so much for this opportunity again. My honor and a pleasure.